My name is Anne and this is Toby and welcome to a Quilty Fun. I think it's episode 47 or 48? Hmm, what episode is it? Let's check. Hmm. It's 48, episode 48, yes. So, grab a cup of tea. Today, it's Friday, so we're going to be talking about quilting and sewing. And I need your help because <clears throat> I need to make a list of my... Where's my book? notes. I need to make a list of what I need to be working on quilt wise besides the Cotton Cuts Tree of Life and the Cotton Cuts White West because they're monthly blocks. I've got a bunch of quilts not finished. Some of them the blocks are done but I haven't put them together because you know I do all my blocks now quilt as you go. So I've got at least two of those to put together. I've got two completely finished cotton cuts quilts that are all sewn together that now need to be dealt with. And I've also got one, two, two quilts halfway made. Some of the blocks are done, not all of them. So we need to work out what I'm going to work on. While we're doing this and chatting about each of the quilts, and I'm going to let you pick what I work on. I am going to work on this. This is a little kit that I got from uh, Stash It, which was like a fiber festival in Kempville. Ontario um, last weekend when I went with my friend Sue and Liz. Hello Sue, hello Liz. And we met Selma there. Hello Selma. Um, so I'm going to sew this together. I haven't done, I've done one felt ornament type thing before and I didn't do it this way. So I, I hope I'm doing this right. I just cut the pieces out. Anyway. This one tells you to cut them out on fusible web, so I did. So I've got them all on my fabric. So here is this, and this is like a, a woven, it's not felt, it's a woven fabric, wool fabric. So I can't tell the difference between the right and the left. So meh, I'm just going to guess. So I've just drawn my shapes and put them on. So I'm going to sit and cut these all out while I'm talking to you with my little scissors. Got my glass of lemonade, raspberry lemonade. And while I'm cutting these bits out, which then get fused to each other, Um, we're going to chat about my quilts. So, first quilt we're going to talk about is around the kitchen table. And I will leave, if I can, I'll put pictures in the corner of the thing I'm talking about around the kitchen table. Some of them might be my pictures where they've been on the design wall. Some of them might be the actual a photograph from the thing. Now around the kitchen table was really cool in that it was a flash fiction quilt, mystery quilt, and each month we got a story, a chapter of a story, and then we got the quilt block to make. And as much as I enjoyed the whole process, idea of it sometimes I didn't really feel like the block 
like if I look at it now, I can't tell what story went with what block, which I kind of, you know, which I could kind of almost remember that. But anyway, I did finish it, but it's not put together. Um, so the whole quilt pieces are done. And what I need to do now is quilt it as you go. And I was going to give this to my stepdaughter for her birthday. She turned 40 this year, but I never got it finished in time. Of course I never, because I was doing a million other things. Plus I was away. So now I've decided I'll give it to her for her birthday. She didn't know about it anyway, so it's not like it's a bummer. But her, so I thought I'd give it to her for Christmas. So that's on the list. So there's that. So it literally has to be quilted as you go, sewn together, binding. Um, the next one on my list is the Design and Mystery 2022. Now this one is also all the blocks are finished. I'm just writing them down so I know. All those blocks are finished. Here's a picture of what it will look like when it's done. It's very, very pretty. The only reason I haven't started it was I couldn't decide how to quilt each of the blocks in Quilt As You Go. I've got all the backing fabric, everything that I need to do it. Um, but I couldn't decide if I should individually do each block different design um, or should I just do them all the same cross hatch or something like that? Squiggly lines, you know the ones I like to do, the wavy lines, what do I call them? Whatever they are, it's not what they are. Zigzags, I think I call them zigzags. Oh dear, come here, you're getting on my nerves now. Too much fabric. Um, so that all just has to get put together and I've got all the backing fabric, I've got all the uh, everything I need to make it. So there's that. Should I work on that? No rush for that though. There's really no rush for that one. Then I have the Design and Mystery 2023, which is still in blocks. 2023. And I think I've done maybe six out of the 12 blocks, maybe maybe five. So those blocks all have to get put together. Now, I am going in October to a quilting retreat for four or five days. And I thought I might take that with me because they're individual blocks. I can just pull out a block, cut it all out the way it says, and then sew it together. So I could take that with me there in October. Maybe. The other one I've got, which again, is all, it's not quilted, no, what is it? It's, what is it called? Duck Duck Goose. Duck Duck Goose, here's another picture, was one from, I feel like it was 2021, and it was my local fabric shop, or one of them, Taylor's in Brockville. They did a monthly quilt um, along, and this was the quilt that they chose. And each month we got a new block that we would put together and make. Anyway, I think there's 10 blocks, maybe. They're quite big blocks too. They're not, you know, 12 by 12 or anything. They're quite big. And um, I feel like I've only done five of them. So that has to be finished. Um, what else have I got over in my box? Oh, I also did a fat quarter shop thing called, because I used to get the sew sampler every month. So there's a thing in that and it was the bright side quilt. And again, I finished all the blocks, didn't sew it together. Um, I didn't like their, I 
pattern to sew it together. What do you call that? You don't call it a pattern. They're finishing design. So I kind of made my own up. As you do. But I only think I did one block just to see if I'd like it. And it's been in the box ever since. I haven't looked at it since. That's at least three years ago. Okay, so that takes care of that one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, I think that's it. For, and the two quilts that need to be quilted, which are the two cotton cut ones. And they need to be either sent out to be quilted or I have to, f I don't like quilting them as one big piece. Really? Plus I don't have the backing for them. I have the backing for the Random Kitchen Table. I have the backing for Design and Mystery 2022. So I think I'll concentrate on them too first and then decide which. Now I've also got one, two, three, maybe four full quilt kits that I haven't even opened and half a dozen so sample box is not completed, not even started. So I am not buying any more quilt stuff or joining any other quilt alongs until I get some of this done, other than cotton cuts, because you know, I can't, I can't resist them. So what do you think? Okay, no, I feel like it's gonna go on that side because them two sides could stick together, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do it on this side. Okay, let's attempt the hat, because I can always trim all this stuff after, right? Or maybe that should go there. That looks better. Let me get it all sorted out here and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. And I have attached to the little snowman. Now I still have that stuff on the back and I haven't put this on yet because I'll have to sew these bits first. And then I'm guessing they'll go together like that. So I've got a front and a back. But we've got two, so this on. So I found, it says to use pearlized cotton, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna use DMC thread and I'll use two strands. So yeah, so this week I've done a lot, quite a bit of sewing. Um, which I'm hoping I've got one more day's worth of sewing to do tomorrow. So I'm hoping by then I can get everything up in the shop for the weekend. Let me just show you what I've done though. I made another cross stitch bag, another Peter Rabbit one. This is exactly the same as mine. And it has a um, little heart lining inside. There's no pockets. It's just to put your, your cross stitch. And of course it will fit a magazine or a large pattern, a big hoop. Um, it's pl plenty big enough. It is 13 by 11. So it's a nice big size. So I have one of those to go in the shop. I made to go with it two of these, which are the floss bitty bag. Well, not to go with, but if you want to buy them as well. Um, these are the little floss bitty bags. 
So when you're sitting and you're done with your little bits of floss, you just stick them in there and that's your little waste garbage. So there's two of them for the shop. Um, and then I had some leftover fabric, so I made a netherwood bag. Um, I have just tied up some Peter Rabbit yarn, which you might have saw last week. So it's kind of, do I keep this for my Peter Rabbit yarn to make a pair of socks with? Or do I put it in the shop and sell it? It might be one of those that I'll put it in the shop. But if it hasn't sold by the time I want to make the socks, I'll take it out. <laughs> Don't tell Bob. He gets mad when I do that. How many bags do you need? Well, I need tons. Oh, and the inside of this is um, a pale uh, beige. It's not the same as the bottom beige. And it's got two pockets. So there is that. I also made... Some of these one is definitely for me, Bob, because I have a Halloween project coming. So this is the gorgeous Halloween fabric. Isn't that super sweet? And inside it's just a um it's not beige, it's kind of got like yellowy splashes to it. But I wanted it to match the little ghosties with the yellow. Well, the fire, I should say, the little cauldron fires. So I've actually made three, but one is for me. So two will go in the job. And the third thing I made today is um, this. So it's another bitty bag and it's got that. And of course, remember, these bitty bags are all totally reversible. So you can turn them whichever way you want if you want them the cobwebs or you want them with the um glow in the dark fabric what yes glow in the dark fabric and i have currently got two of the bags cut out with this glow in the dark fabric so there's two that i need to finish making and i've got a bunch more bitty bags to make in this fabric so that's what i've been doing all this week i've been working super hard on sewing and getting stuff ready for the um, the shop um, and enjoying myself immensely. Now, I don't know if this is gonna, how is this gonna work? So I have to attach this. So it's kind of like a blanket stitch I shall do. I have not, oh, okay. But then that paper's there. Oh, well, I can probably just rip the paper off. Let's see, I have not hand stitched for ages. This is so much fun. Um, so what have you been up to? Um, have you been sewing? Have you been knitting? Um, I started the Flopsy Bunnies for my Peter Rabbit cross stitch. I also, what else did I, okay, how do I do that part? Um, okay, let's do that. Okay, that'll work. Um, yeah, so I started that and I um, worked today on puppies because I did my two days on um okay I've forgotten how to do blanket stitch I just did it then but how did I now I'm doing whip stitch how did I go from whip stitch to blanket stitch still looks fine though. Actually, I think the whip stitch looks a bit better. Um, yeah, what was I saying now? I forgot. Oh yes, I worked on Peking Puppies because I did two days on Peter. Remember, I'm doing two days at a time. So I did um, 
today I did uh, I know you're supposed to oh do you know what I know why I'm coming up the wrong way aren't I I think it's a good job there's no sewing police to tell me what I'm not doing right here it still looks fine though looks perfectly fine um yeah so i did a little bit um over my lunch hour working on peking puppies and i'm hoping tomorrow if i get time to get out my colors to sort out what color i want to make the dog the other dog because remember i'm changing the color on him and I have to see if I can scan the pattern in that I've got the chart and see if I can put it in markup so I can change the colors there, maybe make it easier for myself. Um, but we'll see, I don't know. Yeah, I did blanket stitch there and not there. I did whip stitch there. I don't even understand why I did that. Okay, so you come up and you go over. Now, why can't I do, why couldn't I do that there? Because I, and then you do that, right? So you come up and you grab from the last one. Okay, remember that, Anne, when you get to the top here in a minute. Okay, see, now I can't remember what I just did. <sighs> Anybody else have that problem? So you come up. Oh, I know why I can't blanket stitch there. I'm an idiot. Yeah. I'm just going to leave blanket stitch on the edge of something. Not when you've got a top bit there showing. Oh, well, never mind. It's fine. It still works. It still looks good. So I should turn that iron off. Um, yeah, I totally forgot what I was saying. What were we talking about? I literally have no idea. Well, I'm going to carry on with this. I feel like I'm talking to myself, which I am. <laughs> I should do a live, shouldn't I? I should do another Friday Quilty Fun Live or something, or Stitchy Live. What's a good time for everybody to do a live? Like in the afternoon, like my time, or in the morning. I don't know. Okay, now I've lost that piece. Hey, come back. There we go. Well, what do you think? I think that looks kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to go finish playing with this now. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you think about the quilting. What should I be working on? You vote. I want you to vote. You vote. Shall I finish one of the quilts off? Or shall I, like quilt to go, finish them off? Or should I carry on with the other three that need to still be built? Or should I start? No. I'm not starting anything new. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. I will see you on Monday for some knitting fun. And uh, have a fabulous weekend, everybody. And I will see you Monday. Okay, bye! <laughs>